Okay, so now let's go ahead and read from the file names.txt. Now remember uh, what we had uh, prior to this. We had a file called names, all right, so it exists. For this example, we will not test if the file doesn't exist, but that would have been the normal way to, uh, the normal way to do things. But for now, we assume it exists, so we're going to go with that. Uh, so we know it has two pieces of data, two lines, two records, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. So knowing that, first, we want to make sure we can put our pointer to work. So we're going to have to assign that pointer for file PTR to F open, open this file. And that would be names.txt, right? So we know it exists. We can do that. Now, if it didn't exist, we're going to have to do some sort of a contingent uh, uh, scenario uh, with it returning a null and all sorts of things. So that will be for another lesson. For now, we'll assume that it exists, and we're going to do it in read mode. Okay? So let me just compile this for now, just to make sure the code is correct. Perfect. Now we're going to read one line at a time. Remember when we wrote to the file, we used fprintf. When we read from a file, we're going to use fscanf. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is fscanf. And again, write the pointer down, file ptr. Just in case you have several pointers pointing at different files. And here, you're going to put percent s, so I expect to get a string, and another string within that same line, first name and last name, and store them in data1, comma, data2. Now we would like to be able to print them to the screen. So simply print f, and let's call it data, and percent s, space percent s slash n and let's call this one data one and the other one is data two let's see how this behaves let's see if it actually extracts henry ford which happens to be the first record in that file so compile and run and sure enough data is henry ford so how do we move on to the next data item which is thomas edison well, you simply have to rescan again and print. So we're going to take this. So you can see the code is repeating itself. So for another lesson, we're going to do this in a loop until we encounter the end of the file. So for now, I am being really careful. I am not invoking the end of the file to test against it. I, am sim I simply know that I have two records, but this is not practical. However, the objective here is to be able to understand how to read and write from a file. So let's compile and run. And sure enough, I do this. So now let's say I didn't know how many records I have and I do this again, right? And let's see what would happen here. Okay, and notice it doesn't go any further. It reads Thomas Edison one more time, okay? So we're going to take this out, okay? The point of this exercise is simply to read from a file. So eventually what we're going to do in the next lesson, we will uh, allow some sort of a, a dynamic access to the file where, depending on its size, how many records are in there, we need some sort of an indicator that says, or a flag that says, aha, you've reached the end of the file, okay? That will be, that will control the loop that we're going to use to access the data in the file. But for now, we know we have two pieces of data. That's not a problem. Okay, so I hope you learn a lot in terms of reading from a file in write mode, append mode, and writing or reading from a file simply in this format.